Well, I'm here at a very sunny Lawford Lakes complex. Having said that, the sun's just gone behind a cloud. I'm sat here in my t-shirt. It's just like a summer's day. However, the fishing isn't quite like summer. It is fishing hard. There's a bit of a wind blowing. It's, it's blowing from, from right and in. And it looks actually, it looks pretty good where I'm fishing, but it is a bit of a struggle. You can probably just see my peg there over my shoulder. I'm actually doing some filming today for, um, for, for YouTube and the Match Fishing Channel. However, over the last couple of weeks, since I started this brand new channel, I've been getting loads of questions about more kind of bite-sized kind of questions and topics. Now, one of them is really about luggage. Lots of eagle-eyed viewers have spotted that I've changed my luggage. And if anybody's known me for any sort of length of time, you'll know that I love to cut down on the amount of tattle that I carry with me wherever possible you know and i've always done that and i still do that now however there is a happy medium where you've still got to carry some extras just in case you know some of the scenarios we might be faced with so i'm constantly changing and cutting down wherever i can and lots of people have spotted that i'm now using the compact carryall the black and lime green one and quite a few people have asked what i actually carry in that bag and how i carry it I prefer to have like a modular system wherever I possibly can where I can add things in and take things out as I'm going around lots and lots of different venues and for me this has been the best way for me to manage my fishing so let me show you what I mean. This is the compact carryall. I'm sure you've all seen it. All right now the main feature for me that's been great is obviously the fact that it's waterproof. All right, it just means that, you know, I don't have to worry about things getting wet in here. Waterproof zips as well, which is great. Okay, and that is the main compartment. Now, I'll keep this nice and brief for you. I'm actually at a commercial today, so I'm fishing with a method feeder. And basically, I keep all my method feeder gear in one bag now. That's how I keep it. It's in a, in a large EVA case. All right, and that sits in there nicely. As you can see, they're stacked lovely in that carryall. And basically in there, I've got some method feeders, some open method feeders in there. There's a really nice selection in there. I've also got where it says method. They are my method feeder hook lens. And then underneath there, I've got some feeding feeders and some stems, the actual elasticated and free running stems, just so I've got some spares with me. So I've got that with me today. So that would go in there. Now these other bits here, these four bags here, basically go with me everywhere. All right, now the first one here is another EVA bag, obviously keeps everything really nice and waterproof. They are feeding feeders, all right? There are lots of occasions when you might want to feed a volume of bait and I just make sure I carry them with me now. It's very easy to forget them, believe it or not. You know, sometimes you put your feeding rod in, but you forget the feeders and there's a nice selection in there. So I carry them with me. The next bag is full of bits and bobs. Things like, I've got some electrician's tape there just in case I've got to run any sort of repairs. They are, I think they're actually hand warmers for the winter when it's really, really cold if I need them. Underneath there is a, a weed cutter as well because you never know what you might be faced with in the margins. And also in there is some sun, suntan cream as well. They are the kind of in case kind of things, all right? But I always carry them with me. And I think there's some plasters in there as well, just in case. The next bag is the other bag that comes with this carryall, and that's bits and bobs basically. All my attachments have got a spare gorilla grip there for when I'm filming. Um, there's just lots of keep net attachments, those sorts of things, things that you can easily lose. Um, a couple of clickers in there as well, keep net attachments, and some butt rests as well. I've also got some inserts there in case I've got any of my side trays. If anything like that's got a 25 mil leg like some of the some of the products have, then um, they are inserts which will fit my seat box, and that's it. They go everywhere with me and then the final one here is the large hook length case all right and i always carry all three with me when i'm going around lots of different venues it's easy to forget these sorts of things so i like to just make sure i've always got them so i've got three containers there with all with hooks in the, the furthest one there where it says barbed they are the really heavy hook lengths and the really light ones so the really light ones might be for when we're targeting roach which i don't really do that often now and the heavy ones which might be for if i'm fishing on rivers for barbel and that sort of thing okay the next middle one is barbless they are all the main barbless hooks that i'll carry with me for commercials and that sort of thing my method ones are kept in there these are the main ones that I will use across different commercials. So they might be carp hook lens, um, if I'm pellet waggler or anything like that, or, or, um, or if I'm fishing for skimmers and bream where barbless hooks need to be used. And then the final one is my main barbed box. So they're all the standard kind of um, hook lengths that we use, say if we're fishing on rivers or if we're fishing for bream, you know, like the size 16 hooks, size 14s, 013, 011 hook lengths, that sort of thing. So that is the main one that I use 
when I'm fishing on venues where you can use barbed hooks. And that is it. As you can see, I've got all that in there and it's still only half the bag full, so it leaves me loads of space, obviously, for anything like that that needs adding in. You can get your flask in there, no problem, and any other bits and bobs you need to carry with you. And then the final bit is this outer compartment here, which is really nice and handy, waterproof zip, zip again. And that is basically, I've got the drop bucket there, so I can obviously use that if I'm high off the water for getting water. Um, and then in there, I've got some tie wraps in there, just in case I need them and then I've also got a couple of feeder arms all right one with a ripple on obviously for when I can just put the rod down in one position with a stopper at the end and that is the one that I would normally use if I was speed fishing and that is it that is everything that I really need okay and as you can see there's still plenty of space left for other things as I start to get more and more questions on this channel, I'll do my very best to just to shed a little bit of light on some of these things that help my fishing just be a lot more enjoyable and ultimately a lot more organised. So if you want to see more bite-sized videos like this about this sort of thing, then hit subscribe and thank you and keep those questions coming in.